Hi y'all, Earthy Wise Woman here. I'm currently crafting a doll and um, I'm uh, considering this for my Etsy account as well as my YouTube. And some people say, well, why do you craft dolls? What is the purpose? Can I just go out and buy a doll? Of course you can, absolutely. I craft dolls because I consider it a form of meditation. It helps me focus on sometimes the pulse of the of the um, universe, what's going on. I craft dolls for myself. I craft dolls for other people. Raymond Buckland said that crafting dolls are any form like this is a form of sympathetic magic. And what that means is this. Let's say you are going on a hunt tomorrow morning. And you want to ensure that the hunt is successful. Well, one way of ensuring that is that you perform a hunt in advance. A make-believe hunt of such. Somebody pretends to be the animal that they're hunting. And one person pretends to be the hunter. And in this reenactment or a play of such, the hunter kills the animal. And all the energy work that he's done in promoting that he will kill this angel, the following day when the hunt is real and when it's really happening, he is able to kill the animal. Now, the reason why doll magic is a form of sympathetic magic is this doll represents me and what I desire in the universe, what I desire for myself in the universe. Um... But this doll, this particular doll I'm making currently, it doesn't represent me. I'm putting this energy in for someone out there, you. Um, and what does it represent? Well, it depends on you and what you need it to represent. So much goes into making a doll. And let me break it down. Like this doll, as you can see, is rainbow colors. Now, I could just simply say, well, it's just rainbow colors, so that's what it represents, rainbows. And that's fine. That's fine. It represents a rainbow. And what does the rainbow mean to the person who's actually using the doll? It's up to that person. However, some people might decide to take aspects of this doll and use it as that. Like the yellow for prosperity. Green for money. Uh, pink for friendship. Uh, orange for um, spirituality, intuitiveness, and business. All, all of these energies combined. So it can represent all of that. Now, that's just one aspect of the magic. And that type of magic is called colored magic. So that's color magic. But then on the same token, I can even think about the stitching that I'm using. This is an overlap stitch. So I'm sticking my needle in. I'm wrapping the thread around it, binding it, and then I pull through. Some people can call this knot magic because I'm, in a way, making knots, okay? And in making knots, I'm binding the magic. I'm making it real. I'm putting it into the universe. So that's why it is so powerful that I sew by hand because I am making a conscious effort to actually wrap the thread around and knotting it. So how long does it take me to make a doll? However long it takes. That's how long it takes. Now, I've already expressed to you the color magic. I've shown you the knot magic. There's another form of magic that goes into this doll making. And that is herb magic. You have not seen that one yet. I will show that on the next video after I finish sewing this doll. So, I consider doll making very powerful magic. Very powerful indeed. Because of all of the energy work that goes into making it. As you can see, this doll is just being made. I just started on this doll today. 
Um, it is my goal to finish this doll in probably the next two hours. And um, I'm putting my intent, I'm putting my labor, my desire into this doll. I desire this doll for whoever gets this doll to be able to use it for the intent that they have on purpose. I deem that this doll will be powerful for whoever decides to buy it. I put into my I put into the universe that this doll will give that person exactly what they desire. Exactly what they desire. And they will personalize this doll and make it their own. And not only will I sew this doll and stuff it with herbs and intent, I will decorate this doll and it will sit on my altar. I like to consider that more energy that I'm putting into this doll. And a new moon is coming. That's more energy. And I like to think that when there's a new moon, we want to get rid of things in our lives that we find to be troublesome. So how would I work with this doll? I would probably tie to this doll all the things that I want to get rid of on a new moon. Things that I find binding and troublesome to me. I will tie to the doll and put it on my altar, tell it to get rid of it. And then after it is said and done on the new moon, I will burn all those things I no longer want in my life. Because this doll represents me and I'm taking these things away. Now, understand, I said before that this is not doll for me, so... I'm not going to do that magic, but for whoever I'm sewing this doll for, and you know who you are, when you buy this doll, this doll represents you. So all the knots and sewing stitches that I'm putting that, I'm putting my energy in here for you. So when you get the doll, somewhere on this doll, you can put your initials, or you can write your full name, or you can write... Um, your nickname or sigil is something that represents you and when you are ready go ahead and do the magic and remember this is your doll this doll represents you in the physical universe so it doesn't matter if you perceive this as a voodoo doll if you perceive this as a spirit doll you can perceive this as a poppet and if you are sick and if you need healing, this doll can still represent you. If you are infertile and you want to have a baby, this doll can also represent you because it's you. It's a symbol of you. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you some of the, uh, there we go, dolls I've already crafted. I've not stuffed these dolls yet. So they don't have any herbs. I'm going to try to post a few videos of some of the uh, herb, herb um, classes that I have given in the past. Because herb magic is extremely powerful magic. Now you add herb magic with doll making and you got a one-two punch. Okay? So all the energy work I'm putting into this, it takes patience, and that's okay, as you can see. It takes a lot of patience, but that's good, because the slower it takes, the more powerful it is. So until then, blessed be. Blessed be. Thank you for watching my video. Earthy Wise Woman here, saying, I'll see you and talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.